Okay, so I think let's let's begin a new game in this everlasting summer. Let's see what it is. It should be a visual novel, if I remember right. And that's great. I was having that dream once again. That dream. Same thing every night. But it's all forgotten in the morning as usual. Maybe it's for the best. Only a glimpse of memory will remain, of gates half opened, as I as if inviting me somewhere, with two frozen stone pioneers standing close by. And also that strange girl who keeps asking me. What does she keep asking you, boy? Will you come with me? Of course I won't. Of course I won't. Come. But where? And why? And where am I, anyway? Of course. If it all happened in real life, I would certainly have been scared. Well, what else would one expect to feel? But this is just a dream. The same one I see every night. There must be a reason. You don't have to know where or why to realize something is really happening. Something desperately seeking my attention. Since everything that surrounds me here is real. As real as things in my own flat. I could open the gates, hear the hinges creak, brush the crumpling rust away with my hand, inhale the fresh cool air and shiver from the cold. I could. But to do that, I would need to pick myself up take a step, move my hand. But this is a dream, I understand it. But what of it? What does my understanding change? Because here, it's just like on the other side of the cracked screen of an old TV, which struggles to fight against the static noise and strives to show its audience everything without missing a single detail. But the picture is getting blurry. I must be waking up soon. Hmm. I'm waking up, boys. I think so. Uh, <laughs> it's kind of rushing up here. I, I I can't really read that. Sorry about that, boys. I'm uh, I ain't no goddamn Russian. Though Russia is kind of cool. Uh, <laughs> maybe I should ask her something. The girl. What's her name? About the stars, for instance. Why the stars, though? I'd rather ask about the gates. I'd rather ask about the gates. Yes, the gates. She would be surprised. Or better, why did that over an I was called a title? But the dot over a J was called a superscript dot. That's kind of weird, actually. Why is it? Nice letters. As if they don't exist anymore. Still, what do letters gates and stars have to do with this place because even if I'm having this dream every night which will be forgotten soon anyway I've got to look for answers here and now and there if you look carefully you can see the Magellanic clouds as if I ended up in the uh, southern hem hemisphere Damn, all the way down to the southern hemisphere. Damn, boy. In a dream, there are the small things that catch your attention. An unnatural color of crash, impossible curves of straight lines, or your own distorted reflection. While the real danger, which could put an end to everything right here and now, seems trivial. It's natural since here you cannot die. I know it for sure. I've done it hundreds of times. But if you cannot die, is there a point in living? I should ask the girl, she's a local, she should know. Yes, exactly. I should ask her about the owl, owl for example. One strange bird it is, though it doesn't matter. Whoa. Will you come with me? And every time I have to answer, it's the only way, otherwise the dream will never end. And I will never wake up. Yes, I'll come with you. Let's say that. I think. Uh, let, let's see what's happening. Every time it's so hard to decide on the answer. Where am I? What am I? 
doing here? Who is she? And why does so much in my life depend on this answer? Or maybe it doesn't. It's just a dream after all. Just a dream. Ooh. Ooh. A dream. Oh shit. We are a nerd. We are a nerd. A little computer nerd. Mm, nerd. <laughs> <laughs> okay, is he just uh, typing on his P He's on 4chan! Did you guys see that? He's on 4chan. Isn't it 4chan? Or is it. Let's see when it unsent. No, this is not hit 4chan. This is not 4chan. This is a Russian version, I guess. The computer screen stared at me as if it was alive. It was though, that's why. Sometimes it really did seem to me that it was conscious of itself, had its own thoughts and wishes, ambitions, that it had feelings, could love and suffer. As if in our relationship, the screen wasn't an instrument. It was me who was a lifeless piece of plastic and, and text to light. There is some truth in that, probably because the computer provides 90% of my communi communication with the outside world. Anonymous image boards, some chats from time to time, rarely ICQ or Jabber, and forums even more rarely. Damn. Damn. What a lonely piece of shit, just like me. Damn. People on the other end of the internet cable simply do not exist. That's true. It doesn't feel like that. It's really lonely. All of them are simply creations of its sick imagination. An error in the source code or a kernel bug which started living a life of its own. Stop getting so real. I, I, I'm relating to this guy way too much and I fucking hate it. Fuck you. Why? <laughs> Stop making me as a character in the game I'm gonna play! Please! Please! If one looked at my existence from the outside, such thoughts would seem crazy and a psychologist would surely give me a bunch of sophisticated diagnosis and maybe write me a doctor's referral to the loony bin. Damn. Fuck. I don't know how to react to this game. It's like giving me goosebumps. Fuck, it's so... So fucking... Relatable. I, I can't really take this. That's fucked. A small apartment with no signs of repair or any semblance of order in it. And always the same view out the window on the grey megal megalopolis running somewhere day and night. Such are the conditions of my life. Damn. <laughs> well, of course, it didn't all start like this. I was born went to school and finished it like all the others I was accepted at a university where I spent a year and a half tra trailing behind and struggling I drifted through several jobs sometimes I was working out it was working out quite well sometimes I was even decent getting decent money for fuck stop being fucking me stop being the fucking definition of me what the actual shit what the fuck? <sighs> but it all felt like it was not mine, as if taken from another man's biography. I wasn't living life to its fullest. It was moving over and over in mon m monotonous circles, like in the movie Groundhog Days. It's just that I had no choice in how to spend my day, and every day repeated itself, the same visual spiral. Spir spiral of emptiness, misery, and despair. <sighs> Damn. For the last few years, I just sat in the front of the screen all day. Sometimes there was menial jobs. Sometimes my parents helped me. All in all, I was able to provide for myself. No wonder really, since my needs are quite minor. I hardly ever leave my home, and my communication 
with other people almost exclusively consist of online correspondence with the anonymous, who have no real name, no gender, no age. So in brief, a quite typical life of a quite typical antisocial person of his time. Kind of Donny Darko, on a minor scale, without doomsday-related visions. Maybe some highly respected author will write a novel about me, and it will become a contemporary classic of modern literature. Or I will write one myself. However, what's, what's the point of fooling myself? I tried many times, but couldn't even come up with a simple short story. I tried to learn many other things as well. Fuck. God damn it, stop being... Like, I, I thought about doing something because... Now now I'm getting real here, right? Because I... I I didn't want to. I wouldn't. Didn't want to go down not being remembered for anything. I tried writing books, especially about my own life, because I wanted to be remembered. But my life was always way too boring. I I never thought I could make an interesting story or an interesting movie. Anything about it. I have never, never really, <laughs> never really had anything. Always felt like. There was no purpose, you know? Like, there was no reason I was here. And this annoys me. This is... I'm, I'm five minutes into this fucking game. And I'm getting tears in my eyes because I feel like... This shit is relatable. Fuck this game! Oh, fuck. I tried to learn many other things as well. Not gifted enough to draw. Me neither. Fuck. Programming got bored. SAME! WHAT THE FUCK?! In the same fucking... Got bored foreign languages takes too much time. FUCK YOU! The same fucking... In the same fucking... I started doing... Trying to draw, program, and then learning foreign languages. I tried learning... I, I tried drawing. I was shit at it. At it. And it took too much time to learn to draw, to become everything. I tried programming. I couldn't. It was way too fucking boring. I tried learning Japanese, taking to Japan. I learned a small bit in like one year or some shit. And it took too much time. I didn't feel like I was nearly good enough to do anything with Japanese. I ended up going to Japan and meeting some Japanese persons, people, and f maybe getting some friends. But I kind of died out in it, even though I tried. I tried. I actually tried to be better, but it never really worked. And that has always been like really sad. I've, I've, I've tried, but it's always been a huge blow to my self-esteem and myself. Because I never found anything I, I could do. The only thing I loved doing was reading. I hate reading though, so... <laughs> I loved watching YouTube. But still, I never would have called myself a scholar. Yeah. I never would have called myself a YouTuber, still wouldn't. Perhaps I was an ace at watching anime and a grandmaster of lame internet jokes. Shut the fuck up. Instead of reading, it was fucking YouTube. Shut the fuck. I hate... <sighs> if I were to get paid for it, I would probably be a happier person. And a richer person too, but I doubt it would fill the hole inside me. <sighs> yeah. Today was another typical day of a typical failure's typical life. And today is the day when I have to go to my university reunion. Frankly speaking, I really, really didn't want to. I, I couldn't even get to university. Fucking high school was too boring. I'm an even bigger fuck up than this guy. What the fuck? What the fuck? Spending all your time on 4chan making lame jokes amounting to nothing. That's my life. That's my life. Well, that's my life. What is the point? The time I spent with them was so short. However, I was pursued it by a friend, my former university mate, and one of the few with whom I kept in touch other than through the internet.
We are walking, walking all the way over to the university apparently. A frosty evening, bus stop waiting. I never liked winter, though hot summer is not my season either. It's just that I see no reason to point out any particular time of the year. It doesn't matter much what the weather is outside when you stay at home 24-7. The bus today was running so late that I was about to curse it all and spend my last few hundred rubles for a taxi. The idea of just returning home didn't cross my mind for some reason. As usual, millions of thoughts flew through my mind, but there was not a single useful one to seize on. Such a thought that you could not uh, that you could bring into existence give a sharp turn into an idea that put into practice. Maybe I could start my own business, but where would I get the money from? Oh, or maybe I could go back to work in an army. No, no way. Maybe I should try freelancing. But what skills do I have? And who would want me after all? <laughs> I suddenly remembered my childhood. Or rather my teen years. The time when I was 15, 17 years old. Why exactly those years? No idea. I guess it's because back then... Everything was much more simple. It was easier to make decisions, so complicated now, and so simple then. We got up in the morning, I knew exactly how my day was going to pass, and I always eagerly looked forward to the weekend. Then I could get some rest and have time for the things I liked. Computer, football, going out with friends. And then, at the beginning of next week, I'd take off my studies again. Back then, there was no such worrying questions like, why? Who needs it? What will change if I do it? Or what will not change? Fuck. When I try to remember back to my age of 15 to 17 years old, I can't really remember much as it's all a fucking blur. My years of 15 to 17 years old went with massive drinking and blackouts all the time. Alcoholism and fucking abusing alcohol. Because, uh, and I couldn't get out of the question uh, out the bed in the morning because so no reason to. And when I got up, I used all my money on alcohol and soda, snacks, all kind of shit to ruin myself and my body with. And that's what I did for a lot of years. I did it for maybe four, f four years about. But now, I'm finally like two months clean of booze. A simple lifestyle, style, so casual for any more normal person, and so odd to myself today. That careless childhood age. It was also then that I met my first love. Her appearance and personality have vanished from my memory. Only her name remains, like a brief line from a social network profile, along with the feelings with o which overwhelmed me when I was with her. Affection, tenderness, the desire to care for her and to protect... Sadly, it didn't last long. Today, I can hardly imagine something like that happening. I would probably like to meet a girl but I don't know how to start a conversation, what on earth to discuss, and how to attract her. Well, I haven't met any suitable girls for a long time. But where could I meet one anyway? The sound of an engine brought me back to reality. A bus pulled over. There was something abnormal about it, I thought. Then again, it doesn't matter. Only the 410 runs this road. Oh. 
Oh, it's insane. Fire! Street lights pass me by. It's as if they're cold like sparks inside of me, trying to ignite feelings long dead. Oh shit, can I? Oh, I can't. Can I hide this in any way or capacity? Oh, yeah. Nice. Street uh, Ignite the feeling long dead. Or maybe not ignite, just awaken them. Because those feelings, they have been living in me for a long time, slumbering and waking up again. The diver's radio was playing some very familiar tune, but I wasn't listening to it. I was watching the cars passing by through the fucked up window. Because people are always rushing somewhere, chasing something they needed, stuck in their own little worlds. Why would they care about me? They probably have their own serious problems, or maybe they have much easier lives. You can't know for sure, since all people are different, or are they? Sometimes someone's action can easily be predicted, but if you try to look inside his soul, you will only see impenetrable darkness. The bus was approaching downtown, and my thoughts were interrupted by the bright city lights. Hundreds of billboards, thousands of cars, millions of people. I watched this light show, and somehow I got terrible sl terribly sleepy. My eyes closed just for a moment, and then... is being placed in Russia instead of Denmark or else it just feels I hate how relatable this game is <laughs> sorry I'm frying a little Fuck. I'm a fucking pussy the fuck's up with her face? I can't read her name. <laughs> Not <a> pal. <laughs> this is the communist paradise, isn't it? Uh, she doesn't know how to wear a shirt. Probably. No, she Why is there so many panty shots? What the fuck? Everlasting summer. <sighs> Day one. Okay, guys. You know what? I think this is it for this episode. It was nice. <laughs> this fucking game. I've played it for like, what, 10, 20 minutes? And this game is insane. <sighs> I, I want to play more of this game already. It's fucked up, but I need to, I, I need to end the episode here. So I'll see you all in the next episode. Remember to like, subscribe, leave a comment telling me how much of a pathetic fucking loser I am. And I'll see you all in the next episode of Everlasting Summer. Bye.